Welcome, everybody, to Age of Mythology Retold. I'm Savage Hound Dusk, and this is going to be my first time ever playing this. I have never played the original Age of Mythology. I have no idea how this is going to work, except that it is a real-time strategy game involving a lot of the supernatural entities of ancient Greece and such. Uh, such as the ancient Atlanteans, the Greeks, a couple other ancient civilizations, I believe, like the Romans. So I look forward to this. I have never actually played this game, so we're going to play the tutorial and see how to play this game. I had originally intended to do a stream of the Old Republic today. Uh, that's not working out. Mighty armies and epic deeds. So we will instead be doing ages, that tomorrow. From humble beginnings in a small village to mighty citadels. I will be doing streams of Persona of on uh, Thursdays and Fridays. Tear down the walls of Troy. <laughs> Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard. From now on, so Persona and has not been abandoned. In the shifting sands of Egypt. Please don't anybody think that. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great, earth-changing powers in Age of Mythology. I need to kill the sound on my phone, I guess. Welcome to your first adventure in Age of Mythology Retold. Our hero, Arcanthos, sent a scouting party to find the warlord Theris, but enemy forces have cornered his men. There you go. We must and my moderator him. is also here, doing his typical nerd. From one nerd to another. Start by moving Arcanthos to the checkpoint. <clears throat> Selected Arcanthos. units will appear here. Arcantos, hero of Atlantis. Moving into Odd. the black area yeah. reveals unexplored regions. The minimap shows what you've explored and where your screen is. Malista. Ne. A Minotaur! We're starting off strong here. Minotaurs are creatures of ancient Greek and, I believe, Roman legend. I believe the Romans ended up stealing quite a bit of their stuff from ancient Greece. So. They're uh, most notable for, I believe it was uh, Perseus and the Minotaur, the ancient legend of those. Where a Minotaur guarded an ancient labyrinth. And Perseus had to navigate it with a string. have come to help Arcantos rescue his men. Now, move your units to the next checkpoint. He also had a sword. But it sounds funnier when you don't mention that. Look out! A manticore watches the road. Oh, hello! Manticores! Uh, I forget what specific myth they actually come from, but manticores are a twisted amalgamation of bat, lion, and uh, scorpion. Thank you. I'll just call down the wrath of Zeus or whatever lightning god the Atlanteans worship. I believe it was Zeus. With their own unique god powers. They are folded into Greek myth. The scouting party. Quick, send your heroes to help. Attack move makes your units fight all enemies on the way to their destination. These are myth units too? What are these? Are these mummies? Oh no, those are jackal men. Servants of Set and Anubis. One of which is a douchebag, the other is actually kind of an okay guy. I, my Egyptian mythology is not the greatest. I apologize to everybody if I end up not correctly guessing some of this. Arcantos' army has found Theris's base. Travel up the road to join forces. Yeah, but I... Like, 
I know the mummy films the are very beloved for their respective Egyptian myth, and most jackal men are depicted as servants of Anubis and Set in uh, desired Anubis attempts to basically destroy everybody the gates. <laughs> um, and end the world. But most myths that I know of involving Anubis actually show him as basically a kind of somewhat kindly caregiver as he takes care of everybody on their way to uh, the underworld, as he's the one who embalms you and takes care of you. Yes. The gods have blessed you with meteor. This destructive god power causes flaming meteors to fall from the sky. Yes. Set is essentially the mythological entity that is seen as evil. Uh, anybody who is unfamiliar with him, if you've ever seen the movie Gods of Egypt, he was Gerard Butler. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. What did I just call down? Was that a meteor? Yeah, that was a meteor storm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome already! Holy crap! Yeah, I did, actually, and for some reason they didn't seem to take much damage. I guess the tutorial was being kind to me on that, because I'm pretty sure that's actually supposed to hurt me. Yeah, they got fucking ragdolled, man. That was amazing. That was gorgeous. And you also have the Hydra? Uh, the Hydra is a famous Greek mythological creature. It, you may most notably remember it from the Hercules Disney film. Uh, that is because Hercules did in fact have to slay the Hydra. It was one of the 12 labors that he was given in the myth, if I recall correctly. And uh, it was famous for every time its head got cut off, it would just grow a new one. Oh, and typically grew an additional head for every head you cut off on top of the one that regenerated. Yes. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it, but yes. Prologue. Troubled sleep. Athena appears in a dream to set Arkantos upon his quest. Okay. Uh, well. Let's talk to the, uh, to the Greek goddess of wisdom and battle. And strategy. Yes. The owl was often said to be her animal, which is actually where a lot of people get the uh, thought process that owls are, in fact, wise creatures. That is from the Greek cultural that myth around like Athena, who is a, a goddess of wisdom and battle tactics. Kantos, fighting old battles again? Yes, old enemies. I still see them here. The voice you acting's not battles terrible. For Atlantis than can be counted. Faced opponents no other man dared fight. That was uh, yeah, she's Today often Atlantis seen as the reasonable one between the two. Ares is often seen as violent, sadistic, and now. ridiculously overambitious. Depending on which version of the myth you like reading, he attempts to overthrow uh, the Greek pantheon in certain instances, or overthrow members of it in order to prove himself superior. Uh, in most cases, he is killed in various ways or imprisoned for his attitude. Uh, God of War, the video game series, is one interpretation, but it takes a lot of liberties. However, it, it, it pays very heavy respect to Sir, what it screws with. Yes, we've sighted land on the horizon. We should reach Atlantis soon. Excellent. It will be good to see my son cast. I need to play Immortal Phoenix Rising. Oh, wow. Now I really want to play that. Because I actually enjoyed Breath of the Wild, even though I never finished it. Cannot ignore the omens, I'm, I'm told Immortals Lord Phoenix Rising takes clear. a bit of a satirical light to it in order to keep things Troops from getting too dark. Now will be lucky to arrive before the fight is over. Even if they do, their only task will be to show the banner of Atlantis, not a task for an admiral. It would shame Agamemnon if we sent one of your junior officers. He already complains that we do not pay enough attention to the Greek colonies. No, it must be you. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Jesus, a Kraken! All right. 
We're going off on a mile a minute here, apparently. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am not the best when it comes to understanding all of the myths of the Kraken. I know it is an incredibly terrifying and powerful sea beast. Don't know too much more of it beyond that. I do know it all appears in Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, that was largely a liberty because it was a powerful sea creature. Remember. Additional toxic can be drained at the Archer the range. Until the These excel arms. against enemy infantry. Alright, let's craft some more archers. Train more Toxotai from the archery range. Okay. Right. Okay, so the Kraken was predominantly a, a foul omen that, that would appear for anybody who happened to be uh, sailors because it was very lethal and destructive to virtually anything that tried to go anywhere near uh, the water. Etimos. Okay, so the Kraken is predominantly a Scandinavian thing, not a Greek thing. Good. The black sails are going to regret this. That is possible because Greek and Scandinavian myth do have similar in instances a few times. Although they don't have that many. Several villagers are working in town west of the harbor. Train more hoplites. If you are running out of a particular resource, you should consider retasking them to gather it. Really? Okay, what did she say? I need to retask somebody in order to gather certain things? Another Kraken approaches. Poseidon's wrath is clear. I don't know if Poseidon's behind this one, man. Oh, shit. That's another Kraken. Oh, God. Well, I have more archers than, uh... <laughs> then I, damn! All right. The ragdoll physics in this game are incredible. Okay. I know Davy Jones was modeled very heavily after it in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and I know that he used it until it was summarily killed off screen, which was very disappointing to me. I really wish that thing would have died on screen. That would have been epic as fuck. But. Get those Petropoli up here. I know Beckett made him kill it. I'm saying he should have died on screen, damn it. Leger. And there's another Kraken. Hello. Boy. Arcantos, do not forget to call upon your god powers. Restoration. God powers okay. Oh my god. Okay, that is a very large AoE. A landing party. Oh, wow. Oh. <clears throat> the god powers in this game are very, very strong. Okay. Excellent. Get ready, everyone. This isn't over yet. I can already tell balance is probably not going to be one of this game's strengths. And if this game remains this amazing, I don't care. Armor of your units at the armory. Upgrade the armor of your units at the armory. Okay, select the armory. Yep. 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 Okay. Houses, storehouse. Yes. Black sail, pirates. Oh boy, that's a lot of dudes. Prostagma, Etimos, East Machen. And though that poor son of a bitch didn't stand a chance. Oh. 
Get, get trash, the Jimbo. Won't take Atlantis this way. What are they thinking? Lege? Orthos. Deploy those guys over there. Where's my army going? I'm almost done with the upgrades, so. Another that's good news. Approaching. Ray, this is the last. For anybody wondering, yes, I have played RTS games before. I just haven't played an RTS like this before. And there's another Kraken. Kraken is getting shot to shit. I probably should have had the catapults focus on that ship. God damn it. Oh, jeez! They released a giant scorpion, man. Okay. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, my God. My archers are getting shot to shit. Okay, back up, back up. No, it's not the Scorpion King, unfortunately. That would have been hilarious instead of horrific. I need gold. Okay, let's heal these troops. Oof, that was bad. Oh, there's, uh... Well, I feel a little stupid. Train some more archers. Oh my, more Krakens. Okay. Carlos. Yeah, um, let's drop some catapult fury on these SOBs. Uh, where the hell are you guys? Oh, centaurs! One of my favorite mythological creatures! Hippolyta. Uh, that name is familiar to me, but I cannot recall what from. Uh, I feel like calling this down is a bad idea. The black sails are fleeing. It will take more than pirates to overrun Atlantis. Yeah, I'm just I just called down a lightning storm of the ages. That was amazing. Holy crap, this game feels incredible. Centaurs were originally a big Greek myth creature, I believe. Uh, one famous centaur from Greek myth is Chiron, who... Oh, yeah, you're looking for Hippolyta. I apologize. Another message from Poseidon, Arkantos. Oh, she's a demigod. Father, they stole the trident. What? Yes, it was stolen during the fighting. <clears throat> Somebody stole this trident of Poseidon? Not That's not sign, good. Arcantos. We are losing Poseidon's favor. We must act. I will go to Troy as you ask. I'm going to get that trident back on the way. Sethos, take supplies aboard and get the men together. We're setting sail. Okay, so the voice acting is not bad, and the voice acting is no, not the problem here. It's the pacing to this voice back. acting. These guys are Don't not worry. talking like this they're talking to other people. They're talking like they're reading lines from a teleprompter almost and trying to add you know, impression to it. We'll, we'll keep this to moderate difficulty so that I can try to actually push myself to learn something. Perhaps setting out on this errand really was all that was needed to appease Poseidon. Black sails, port side! And he leads us to Kamos, too. Archers, ready your bows. Prepare to come about. Oh, go here we go. For insulting Poseidon and Atlantis. Prostagma. To defeat Kamos, you will need to build up and advance to the classical age. To the classical age? Villagers gather the resources you need to 
create units, construct buildings, and research technologies. Atalanta. To gather resources faster, you must train more villagers. Theseus. Okay, Theseus I am familiar with. Was it not Perseus? Was it Theseus who was actually from the labyrinth? I think Theseus was the one who dealt with the labyrinth. Theseus and the Minotaur, yes. I am a silly person. Um, your villagers must build by all houses means. to support your growing population. Yeah, I was gonna say Zeus gets drunk a lot, so you're not really shocking me on that one. so much because all the, the shit you can hear <laughs> without even <laughs> yeah Zeus got drunk and then and and then sex was probably involved that's that's like that's like Greek myth in a fucking nutshell <laughs> yes Oh, jeez. I love Greek myths so much. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny as hell. Uh, I mean, if I recall correctly, uh, what's, uh, Athena was born because some, some dirt merch, uh, Shot the eye, shot an eyebrow off of Zeus's face, and then like that turned into Athena. I'm not even joking. Yeah, she sprouted out of an eyebrow that was shot off his forehead, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be remembering wrong. I'm not gonna pretend like I couldn't, because uh, I I just. I know a fair bit of Greek myth, but I am not, like, a legend of understanding Greek myth. If I can put it that way. Right. Uh -huh. Oh my god. on enough drugs for that one, sir. Yeah, 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 I, you know, I, I, I had to ask. I had to know. Prosehe, Vritomos. Poseidon is an asshole, but not nearly as much as Zeus and some other deities. Yes. Yeah, more or less. I get okay. You got me there. I guess. I guess besides that. Okay.
Λέγε. It's it's been a while since I've brushed up on my Greek myth, I admit. So if anybody's wondering why my my Greek mythological knowledge is a little spotty, assuming it has been, and I'm sure it may very well have been during this discussion. Uh, that's why. I haven't <laughs> I'm just building a lot of... You, you may notice I'm building a shit ton of villagers, there's a reason for that. I need a strong workforce, and I'm not really sure how much is enough. Drop a granary here. Metalevs. Start growing. Uh, getting a gold source going. Until the classical age. Advance to classical age. In order to do that, I need 400 food. Okay. I can recruit Theseus now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. May as well recruit an extra hero. Προσεχέ, βούλομε. Έστω. Λέγε, πρόσταγμα. Μεταλλεύς. Λέγε. Έτοιμος. I have a hippocampus, which is a unit that I'm not terribly familiar with. It appears to literally be a seahorse. Okay, I can go along the classical age minor god of Ares, which is the god of battle and slaughter, which is a focus on foot soldiers. Or Hermes, which is a god that focuses on cavalry. It'll gain me access to Cyclopses, uh, various powerful weapons, it looks like, and the Pestilence power, which is pretty fucked up. Ceasefire. However, if I take Hermes, Centaurs, <clears throat> Sylvan Lore, Wing Messenger, Spirited Charge. You know what? I'm going to worship Build the temple. You can choose a preset in the Villager Priorities menu. To automatically distribute your villagers yes. between resources. By all means, like this is this is cool stuff to think about. being reallocated to random areas it looks like I have a, t I have a ton of gold already I don't have uh, too little food. the Katascopos is a fast capable scout use him to quickly explore the map to find resources and enemies you will need more soldiers to defeat Kamos construct a military academy and an archery range to create them Έτοιμος. Πρόσταγμα. Λέγε. 
I was gonna say, weren't the Cyclopses children of Poseidon? Base against enemy attacks. Once upgraded, towers fire arrows at enemies. Hmm. Yeah, Poseidon's kind of an a-hole. Like, a real serious a-hole, now that I'm thinking about it. Hades is often not given a good light in, in a lot of portrayals, either. That's true. Yeah, and then he very promptly does. Well, well, in a lot of cases, it's because his brothers are straight up dicks. Like, why did why did Hades trap Persephone? He was lonely, you know, and he, he didn't even he didn't even want to trap her. He just he didn't want to be alone anymore. He got sent down there. He had no wife. He had no family. He wasn't really allowed to have kids that much. I think so. I, uh, for reals, yo, I honestly am not sure. No, no, I believe he was married to. A no, no, Hephaestus is married to Aphrodite. Aphrodite is often depicted in the most. She's either a jealous bitch or she's just a straight up slut. <laughs> like Af Aphrodite is not always depicted particularly kindly. <laughs> like even in God of War, she's one of the few gods Kratos doesn't kill that he encounters, largely because she just wants to sleep with everything. And. Hetimos. <laughs> Uh, that was Athena. Because you're you're talking about the the story that created the first Medusa, correct? Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, those archers are totally full on. Let's let's draw the hoplites in here and kick somebody's ass. Good god. Oh, we found part of the enemy's base. Holy shit. Okay, 
Okay, burn down that encampment, and then we'll get those guys the hell out of there. Uh, why am I not fucking surprised? Prostagma. Lake. Yeah, Aphrodite was a manipulative bitch. Oh, my population cap is maxed out. I need to build more, uh... Build more houses. Greek gods are assholes. Like part, like part of Greek myth is they're assholes. Prostagma. And then he ended up causing said prophecy because he ate them. Ophelos stone. Yeah, he took the fires of Olympus to man and they basically <coughs> strapped him to the hand of Typhon in a frozen mountain naked and had him savagely consumed every day by a bird. And then healed and revived and made to endure it again. Mr. Uh, the Titan Atlas. Oh, uh, you're a Titan who who was under Cronus' rule and you didn't try to stop what Cronus did to me. Okay, I will um, condemn you to hold up the world for all of eternity above the fields of Elysium. Sisyphus, I don't know the specifics of. Huh. Oh, he actually shows up in the Hades video game, as a matter of fact. Uh, he is definitely condemned to do it in the underworld, that is for sure, because he is dead at that point. Yeah. Yeah, Zeus was an asshole. That was the one thing about Zeus that I thought was really funny and actually kind of on point in that depiction was that he was, in fact, an asshole. Like, an arrogant, stupid asshole. That is very much Zeus. Prostagma. 
Leia, follow me. Oh, my uh, heroes are auto casting their, their combat abilities. That's nice. Oh, dear God, there's some kind of massive arrow volley fucking everything. All right, let's get rid of this military academy so they can't build any more troops. Subdivision take down the enemy's supply cap and shit while that other division fights the enemies. I think I'm gonna come over here and build a town center. This place has resources I want. You dare. Yep. <clears throat> A hero has fallen. Kamos is fleeing from the town center. Oh no! There we go, they finally cleared out that area. Hey, Excelion! I'm here to prostagno your Melista. Oh god. One of Poseidon's children still favors our enemies. Load the trident aboard the transport. We'll send it back to Atlantis immediately. Thieving scumbag. This is really good. What is this? Arcantos, by the gods. I did ah. not expect Mother Atlantis would send her best admiral to fight for me. Gracious words, King Agamemnon. And look at this. Ajax, I'm surprised to see you still drawing breath. These Trojan dogs keep trying, my friend. <laughs> good to see you again. Who did you upset to get sent so far from home? Well, someone had to come and help you put an end to this. Helen is held behind their walls, and we've had little luck breaking through. We are about to change that. You have arrived in time for our final push, Arcantos. Get your men ashore. You can make your camp to the east, but be careful. 
Trojans have some scouts in that area. When you are done, we will start preparations for our assault. Etimos. Prochese. Prochese. Ne. Pani. <laughs> Lead your men to the unclaimed settlement. Get fucking trash. Got a guy called Ajax here. Cool. Malista. Prosehe. Tecton, Lege, Tecton, Tecton, Tecton. Help him build that. Lege tecton. Prostagma. Esto. Malista. Ne. Pani. I need wood, so let's start harvesting trees. Go ahead and research the axes right away. Uh, I need 120 wood in order to research pickaxes for the gold miners. Those ships are coming from the Trojan harbors. Those harbors are supplying the city. We must destroy them. Oh my god. Okay, uh, destroy the two Trojan docks. Oh. <clears throat> That's a lot of enemy units to have to fight this early. Well, I could call on Hippolyta if I actually get enough stuff lying around here. You must build a temple in order to advance to the Classic Age. Okay. Lege. I need more wood. Prosehe, fritom, fritom, ne, frito, fritomos. Hetimos, vulome, pani, orthos, vulome, pani, orthos. Those guys are tearing apart Agamemnon's base. That's actually kind of terrifying. Orthos. Make a lot of villagers here. What does it take to build them? Mostly just food? Yeah. Food and supply. Lege, pani, orthos. Vulum, orthani. Prosese, esto. Pani. Malista. Ne. Pani. Lege. Ne. Metalex. Those two can farm that. Alright, I have enough wood to produce a fishing ship. That means 
because I might actually have enough to build a temple. Tecton. Etimos. Tecton. Prostagma. Vuforvos. Okay. Have you continue to harvest food? Vuforvos. So that I don't run out. Got two guys harvesting gold. I'll need to buff that. Oh, I get a free hippocampus if I build my first dock. Okay, that's where that comes from. Prostagma. Prosehe. Get a free fishing ship for each one. That's also a nice. Etimus. There we go. Those guys would should be able to farm me enough gold to take care of my gold needs. Okay, I am not going in there yet. Alright, I need to get some more food. I've got people harvesting food right now. Research pickaxes. Bow saw. Okay. Allows villagers to gather wood faster and carry more. Okay. Useful. Oh shit. <laughs> No, oh, my villagers. Okay, the settlement does have archers. Damn, okay, that's problematic. Oof, that was a huge economic hit right there. Goddamn. Prostagma, Vuforvo, Prosehe, Metalefs. Etimus, Malista. Est Vulomen. Etimus, Vritomus. Tapinos. I need a lot more for Prosehe, Vuforvo. <coughs> On a lure here. Have him worship. Prosehe. Damn it, I can't build sentry towers until I upgrade to a tier two. How you doing, Excellion? Things going well, I hope. Lege. Vulome. Vuforvos. So far, I am still allowed to basically farm resources more or less unmolested because the enemy's ships over here are completely as yet unaware of me. There we go. Fishing doesn't provide that much food, so I usually don't spend much resources on it. I've never played this game before, but I've watched somebody play it. That's kind of where my knowledge of it comes from. Still trying to get enough food. God. Can, I, can I even build a market? I, is, is that something I can build yet? No, markets and everything are tier two. My God. Tapinos. Very restrictive. Prostagma. Fireftis. Prosehe. Fireftis. There it is. There's the food I need. All right. So we chose Hermes last time. I still feel like that was a good idea. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try out Ares this time.
πρόσταγμα, έστω βουφορβός. I could just leapfrog it straight into the classic age three. Μάλιστα. Βούλομαι. Έστω. Ναι. Oh, okay, it's upgrading slowly on its own. I was wondering what was going on. And we've been given a Cyclops as a bonus for our upgrade to the age. I'm just building a bunch of sentry towers and shit so that I really don't ever have to worry about anything ever again. Oh, jeez. Oh, that looks horrifying. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely do that. And that. Because these are totally not incredibly fucked up things to attach to your soldiers. Husbandry, plowing, those are both useful technologies. Um, medium peltist? They killed the villager that was over there working on those. Prostagma. Prostagma. Vumalista. Esto. Lege. Tecton. Yeah, they killed the villager that was over here working on those. Προσεχέ. Μάλιστα. Έστω. Ναι. Λέγε. Μάλιστα. Okay. Προσεχέ. Ταπεινός. So you guys pray to the gods. Get that worship going. You guys go grab some wood. That seems to be the resource I need the most right now. Medium, medium hypespist. Okay. I love RTS games. They're actually some of my favorite video games. Uh, I can find those entertaining in the right breadth. They're not my favorite tower defense games, but I don't mind them. Dungeons 3. That sounds interesting. Really? 
Now I'm very intrigued. That actually sounds kind of cool. Okay. I am kind of of the mind that I need to upgrade to Xbox Series X anyway fairly soon. So that really, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. That's actually something that I considered. An armory or market before choosing a minor god to advance to the heroic age. I have hit my population cap. Etimos. I apologize if I seem to be playing this slowly. I, I've i never played this game before. So, um... I'm, I'm learning everything as I'm doing it. I do not mean at all to come off as trying to waste anybody's time. No, I don't, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Alright, let's see how useful these Cyclops is. Oh my god. The ragdolls are real in this game. Trojan baseball! <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, they beat two of my heroes. Prostagma. Roches, eh? Yes. Lege. Prostagma. Bulome. It's police. Cyclopses aren't bad. They're certainly a lot better at knocking down buildings. That sounds awesome. back here. They're slaughtering my villagers. No. Oh my god. You're terrible human being. Jesus Christ, those guys just kind of like... Oh, hi! I was wondering how I still had a full population cap. The game gave me a massive army. All right. 
Prostagma? Agamemnon! Eti. The legendary Atlantean conqueror of Troy. Tecton. That's why the game told me I couldn't do certain things. The villager that I had originally queued to build that just didn't build it for some reason. I wonder if he didn't get murdered and I just didn't see it. Atimos. Pesto. Malista. Pani. Enemy outpost here. Prostakma. Malista. Vulume. Pesto. I wonder my soldiers were getting their asses beat. Etimos Malista What is that? Oh, hi, it's a Colossus of Rhodes. That's problematic. My thoughts on what digital? I don't know the company. Oh my god! Those Cyclopses just picked those guys up and threw them like ragdolls. Oh, this game is beautiful. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Oh, hi. That's a lot of dudes that just kind of spawned out of nowhere. I might. I might. What games have they worked with? Talus principle, I don't know that. Yes, bring yourself into melee range. When I have a, an army that is a fairly sized melee force, you are a genius, you moron. Um, you said Shadow Warrior 3. I I have heard of Shadow Warriors ah, 1 and, and 2. Here he comes, Odysseus, a champion of Atlantis, sent to fight in my army. Join us, Arcantos. You know the famous Odysseus, surely. I know of him. Your reputation precedes you, as does yours. Are you ready for the siege? We could use your advice in planning our attack. As the commander here. I have already taken care of the plans, Odysseus. You and Arcantos will take your armies and start the siege of the gates. That's a fine start. What about the other armies? Ajax and I will keep our men in reserve. I know Sirius Sam. Ajax will rush his men in to clear out the Trojan defenders. Sirius Sam is funny as hell. I love those, ga Helen. those games. 
Hotline Miami is pretty funny. Okay, so I do know who you're talking about. Uh, they make a lot of good stuff, but most of those games Sir, just weren't no really. We'll need to I don't know, my jam? Of Troy's mining operations. They're making a Tron. Prostagma. Prostagma. Tron Catalyst, okay. Okay, so we already worship Hermes in this particular instance here, according to this. So... Yeah, we're already at a tier two, it looks like, settlement. Theseus. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit Theseus. Prosehe, he's bully. Ne, he's bully. Tritomos. Hmm? What? Here's the. Oh. Hi! There's an enemy outpost here. Destroy the Trojan mining camps to loot their gold. Hmm. Okay. Two hundred gold looted from a Trojan mine. Breach the Trojan defenses. Train an army and breach the Trojan gate. Upgrades infantry to medium infantry with more hit points and attack power. HP plus 10%. All actions of all types for damage is increased by 10% as well. Let's keep the violence rolling. Esto. The fewer troops the Trojans will trade. Marlista. Vulome. Marlista. Vulome. Esto. Marlista. Vulome. Esto. Ne. Worship that I require. Prostagma Estu, ne. Malst three tomos, lege. Tapinos. Prosehe. Prosehe. Estu, ne. Tecton. 
Μεταλλεύς. Έτοιμη. Μάλιστα. Μεταλλεύς. Λέγε. What the fuck? These aren't the Trojans. Sisyphus. He's market. This market. Toro. Ispoli. Burome. Vale. Toro. Ispoli. Carlos. A hero has fallen. Play it, Nick. Esther. Play it, Fanny. Orthos. Βούλωμε. Προσταγμα. Φάνη. Είς μάκε. Αγίρο έχει φάλλει. Δαμε. Αγίρο έχει φάλλει. Έτοιμος. Is there a way there by sea, perhaps? Why? Tron, I think, suffers from 
more than anything right or not not even tron it's, it's disney the problem that disney suffers from right now to me is that disney has absolutely no Yes, and the problem, the, there's a there's a huge problem with that, honestly. There really is. And that problem is very, very simple. Um, Disney has lost a lot of the money that they used to have. That they, they used to be able to just throw around. And they lost that money because they made a lot of really bad investment decisions. They treated the people that they were dealing with like they were you know they, they were one of many companies that decided let's let's attack our customer base that's gonna fix everything um and it didn't fix anything it, like it, it it inarguably fixed nothing um and you know the company is it's gone from the infinite money glitch generator that it used to be to basically being a useless ass broken company that exists now in a way that is sticking to its politics instead of sticking to its ability to make money and its people. Uh, and their inability to understand that they need to just stop with the politics and just be an entertainment company is largely what is killing them. So Tron getting shot down into a tiny little top-down shooter really doesn't fucking surprise me. They don't have the money to do much else, I would bet. And uh, I, I honestly feel people's complaints with that, you know, I don't... Tron is one of those games that just like them, I feel like it's perfect, absolutely perfect as a universe for a video game that could do a lot of video game things and not really need to explain itself. But by the same token, where is Disney going to get that money? They would rather insult their, uh, their customer base and piss on their customer base for not doing the uh the good customer thing and just taking what they're given even when it's bad or they don't like it and uh and insult their customer base and attack their customer base and i think customers customers are just fucking done with that like we're like customers are customers are done being treated like they're 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 pieces of shit because they don't want to buy what you're selling and I don't want to. I don't want to bring that up like that, because it sounds like. No, it's fine. Uh, it's not, and it's not your fault. And I don't. I don't want to discuss that because I don't want that to turn into like the only thing this channel is about. But at the same time, what the fuck can I do? Like, uh, they've they've established their own reputation as we hate our own people, basically. You know, we don't like our customers. They've more or less done this to themselves. There's nothing I can do at this point except, it, like, iterate that they wouldn't be in this situation to begin with if they didn't actually, like, if they, if they had actually respected their people instead of turning everything into some kind of politics war. Like, you guys are an entertainment company, and I wish you would remember that. Uh, but they, they insist that there being some sort of driving force for good but they keep getting caught by all these people and doing all of these politically motivated things and not actually being good people like no like realistically you're just supposed to be a fucking entertainment company and people wish that's all you would go back to being they don't want to be told a story they, they don't want to be lectured they don't want to be insulted they don't want to be demeaned and the worst part is is that if disney would stop doing that they would stop having problems and I, and I don't want to say this this way because number one it's going to it's going to put the you know the the focus on on a negative tangent that
that also makes it sound like I hate Disney. I don't hate Disney. I grew up with everything Disney. I, I adored them. In fact, I, I wish they would remember and realize that, you know, what they're doing is not the most toxic thing in the fucking universe. But they insist on trying to scream and shout from some podium as though as though people want them to be an advocate for what most people have already written off as very bad change. Like, I don't, I don't want to get into the specifics of the details. I didn't even want to have that conversation. But the reality is, is that if, if you, it, like, Disney, it feels like you don't respect who you used to be. And the reality is, of course, you don't. Because you insult what you used to be at any given opportunity, it feels like. Uh... And you used to be able to just be an entertainment company that occasionally made some bad mistakes and could actually recover from those bad mistakes by just, you know, admitting you made those mistakes. No company admits that it's made mistakes anymore. Uh, Hollywood celebrities don't admit that they've made mistakes anymore. The vast majority of them try to act like they're some high and mighty, all-consuming power that be and the reality is is that you guys aren't any of those things you're just people and you're people that we clearly gave a little too much into your head because now you guys think you own the universe and I can definitely see why people are disappointed with a Tron game like at the end of the day this is supposed to be a game about Tron. Um, I feel like a twin stick is not is not doing Tron justice any more than anybody else does. But uh, I also realize that Disney doesn't really have enough money for anything else. They've they've gone and killed their funds, and I'm getting my ass kicked because I think at this point I, I need to restart the level because I have fucked up so bad. Uh, I, my army's gone and I'm getting attacked by probing parties that I can't deal with because I tried to destroy the city that was trading with, um... Um... But games, sure, games just aren't game. allowed to be entertainment we'll anymore. To find and take over and one of toys mining operations. Disney is a, they used to be a mega giant for, for like everything that we should have done right. Everybody thought Disney was unstoppable and that it would never die. And then it died. And now you, you're seeing a lot of the death and desolation that they have brought themselves because well, guys, I mean, let's let's look at what they've done. Um, they've alienated their fan base. They've taken Star Wars and destroyed it. They've taken Marvel. They've destroyed it. They've taken all of their original uh, Disney um, Disney products that were animated. They've destroyed them. I understand that they don't want this to become just a top-down shooter. I don't want that to be what that is either anymore, but... I know why Disney's doing it. They don't have any money. There we go. Destroy the Trojan gold mines. Loot their gold. Uh, I apologize if that's not really what anybody wanted to hear about Disney, but... What I what I can hope is that they will give us at least a decent, basic Tron experience. That is that is what I will say. Hopefully you guys can, can still deliver a decent experience with Tron. Um, because I, do, I don't want Disney to continue to keep making, you know, bad decisions or what I perceive to be bad decisions. If you guys want me to take away the bad faith potential, I don't want them to continue to keep making the, what I consider to be bad decisions. They made Deadpool and Wolverine. I fucking loved it. That was more or less what it was. Ryan Reynolds was basically given 
carte blanche to do more or less whatever the goddamn hell he wanted with that with that movie and that's what happened He was basically given carte blanche according to some new rumor that's gone out. And in that rumor, uh, he basically decided, fuck the original story. Fuck what everybody originally wanted with it. We are just going to turn this, this into a musical that nobody asked for. And... Uh, I, I don't know why Joaquin Phoenix did that. I don't know why he was thinking that was what he should have done. Um, particularly the way he chose to do it. It wasn't so much that he did it, so much as the way he chose to do it. The way he did it was behaving as though... What had been done before was bad, or what had been done before was a problem. Why? On both counts. Was that what you thought of the situation? Like, Joaquin Phoenix, you know, he, he had complete creative freedom and liberty, and he destroyed the product that he was given. He literally fucking destroyed it. Because from what I haven't seen Joker 2, and at some point I want to buy the DVD so that I can find out if it's good or bad. You know, is it what everybody says it is? Because I haven't seen Joker 2. And I'm not going to take it on bad faith that everything about that movie is god awful until I see it for myself. I always try to be one of those people who, you know, even, even if I'm positive I'm about to walk into a shit show, I will watch it to give it its fair shake. And then I will tell everybody what I feel. Because I tried to do that for Acolyte, like the, the original fucking Acolyte, Star Wars Acolyte. I tried to watch Star Wars Acolyte. I, I have never felt more disappointed or insulted in my entire life uh, as a Star Wars fan watching Acolyte. It was that terrible. And it... I made it through four. I couldn't even finish the season. I did better than you, and I couldn't finish the season. For, for me, the instant I heard the phrase, for anybody wondering, within the first five minutes of the, of the show, a Jedi doesn't draw her weapon unless she intends to kill. That was when I immediately knew I was not in for, for a good ride. I was not in for something that understood Star Wars. Um, and there was so much just horrible, horrible behavior from the acting talent involved. Oh my god, I have never seen more entitled, disgusting people in terms of their behavior. It was just sick. And that's, that's... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, the show with the Inquisitors, that was Obi-Wan. And Obi-Wan was trash. Well, they actually brought that Inquisitor back to life later. They reveal. Yeah, that's the that's the other really big thing that the vast majority of Disney's shows have kind of 
failed to respect is, is the power of a lightsaber. Because Disney lightsabers may as well be glow sticks at this point, with how easy it is to survive them. Um, Sabine gets stabbed in Ahsoka within the first five minutes of Ahsoka, uh, right in the gut. And the reason why very few people survived lightsaber injuries is very obvious, and it should be very obvious, but for some reason somebody thought that we needed to, uh, to bring these guys back and to make them survive more. She's not even force sensitive, actually. That's the thing. Uh, and George Lucas did make a point of saying this, so I will defend it very briefly right before I rip it apart. Um, anybody can inevitably learn to wield the power of the force, even non force sensitives, but you have to have quote unquote talent. Talent, in this case, is is code for you actually have to have a high midi chlorine count and be sensitive to it. Um, she has a very low midi chlorine count. So what? So Sabine being able to actually use the force? Yes. Okay, she could. I will give you this. Let me let me go ahead and give Disney this. This is something that a lot of people ripped them to pieces for. Technically, they were correct. Yes, she could. Could she wield it to the degree that any mainline Jedi could wield it? Absolutely fucking not. No. She would be able to get a few basic force powers out. Uh, and at this point in her life, she is Mandalorian. Uh, Mandalorians don't like Jedi. Even modern Mandalorians don't like Jedi. Or the Jedi arts. Mandalorians used to kill Jedi as a career, practically. All right? Um, so we need to be able to understand that before we presume that uh, Sabine should be force sensitive. Number two, the biggest problem that I had with Sabine wasn't even that she was allowed to become, for to become a force user with a lightsaber. My biggest issue with Sabine is that her entire character evolution from Star Wars Metal Rebels, Metal if you bother to watch it, and most Metal people Metal who are Star Wars fans Metal haven't, even though it's it's decent Star Wars. I won't I won't call it great. It's decent Star Wars. Uh, it's yeah, like it's 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 not a shitty Star Wars show, but I wouldn't call it a great. One. Yes. Yeah, because it's an okay show. Like it's it's not a it's not a terrible show. But um, the the problem with with Star Wars Rebels is that let's let's try and compare Rebels to the shows that it's competing against because of what came before. Um, what came before is. You know, Star Wars The Clone Wars? Star Wars The Clone Wars is a way better show. Um, Star Wars uh, The Bad Batch? Star Wars Bad Batch, in my opinion, is a way better fucking show. Like, Bad Batch does a better job. Um... Yes, but Bad Batch actually made it. The problem with Bad Batch is that Bad Batch ended up being a better show. Um, yes. That's actually kind of the problem. Is that... Bad Batch actually knew how to be proper. Um, and then you come to look at what comes out my time. Mandalorian, for me, I haven't finished Mandalorian. I've watched season one and season two, season two and a half, called Book of Boba Fett. That's not his own show. That's just, you know, let's give him something to make our fans remember he exists. 
I'm gonna do the god Dionysus. <laughs> let's 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 get Kronk. Weirdly enough, the guy is actually the god of health in this instance. Let's get drunk while while being the god of health. Because that makes so much goddamn sense, right? He he is, he actually is. He's he's the party animal of the Greek myth. That's literally what he fucking is. Etimos, esto, pan esto. CMS. Oh. Oh, car mechanic simulator. I I I always forget about that game. I have so many fishing ships, like, gathering fish for food, and I just... Good fucking god. No, it's not. The... the fucking fish... Fishing ships gathering food are just not gathering a lot of food. I am gonna start crafting hydras, because I want hydras. Hi, I got Pani. siege towers Pani. and hoplites out of out of all of a sudden. Pani. Is this a gift from Dionysus for hitting that heroic age? Maybe. Tax collectors improves market exchange rates, reduces taxes on sending resources to other players. Huge penalty reductions. Oh wow, those that's that's nice. Oh, and I can research bronze gear now. Oh my. Okay. Maybe that's what I need to be able to tackle this Trojan base. I need to stop streaming here in about 15 minutes. Okay. Build a storehouse here. And I am now able to build Hippolyta. And oh, hello, I have a flying snail horse. Uh, I believe you did tell me about that, yes. Right. That sounds unbelievably hilarious. That sounds so funny. Oh my god, that sounds funny. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna buy some I'm gonna I'm gonna get I need to get a lot of gold coming in. You must build a fortress before choosing a minor god to advance to the mythic age. I need more worship. Λέγε ταπεινός. Πρόσεχε ταπεινός. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna build the fortress out here. Hey, my hydras! Uh, 
Okay, let's go make a bunch of people pray. I'm gonna deploy Hippolyta over there. That area gets attacked way more often. I have so much gold right now. I am actually gonna buy some food. Ballistics? Okay. Sure. Are you going to cast a uh, I wish this game would let me do that. That would probably make this even more hysterical than it's going to be. Theseus. Head over there, buddy. Ah, I have a fortress now. Petra Bolos, range siege weapon, good against vehicles and ships. Oh, buildings and ships. Okay. I was gonna say vehicles. What? I need a thousand gold and a thousand food in order to be able to advance to the Mythic Age. Oh boy. That's pretty stupid. Uh, I, I, I kind of had an idea about that. I need Chthonic rights. Generate hit points over time. Oh my god. 60% chance of instant repair my 5% HP bonus across all units? Dude! That's overpowered! <laughs> That doesn't sound like much, but man, when you blanket that over your whole army, that is definitely something. more like it. All those upgrades are really starting to come in. That definitely feels like it matters. I need a lot more food. Good God. And now I need gold. Goddess of the Hunt and Nature. Focus heroes and range soldiers. Or Hephaestus. God of Forge and Labor. Focus armory and unique units. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Hephaestus on this one. I'm sorry, uh, Artemis. I've nearly mined myself out. At this point, I should probably start attacking shit. Yes. I am about to stop streaming now because I am... I need to go. So I'm just going to save this here, if I can save it. I believe I can save mid-mission.
Yes, save game. Quit. Thank you all very much for watching. I've been Savage Hound Dusk. I hope you guys turn up for the next one. Oh, geez, my screen is uh, going crazy. Have a nice day.